So if you get to here, they're enjoying the video, and it's likely that they'll watch to the end of the video, with a lot of other factors involved. But then you have a question to ask. I hope you can read this. I don't think you can read that from here, can you? It says consistency. I'm not even in focus. Oh, stupid Oliver. It says consistency is key because that's something that I really struggle with. But I want to share why it's so important, especially in what I do. You're going to have to use your head a bit too, but I think this is a good way to demonstrate this. So I want you to imagine that you're a kid as if you're scrolling on social media, you see one video, okay, cool, you're scrolling to the next video. You're mindlessly scrolling because you're not really thinking this deep. So let's start with this toy. If you're a kid coming to play with this toy, you don't really know what to do, do you? Because you don't have any frame of reference. You just kind of like look at it, it looks pretty. Okay, cool, I'll go on to the next toy, thank you. This is a sussy position. This toy, same thing. It's actually magnets that quite satisfying. This toy, useless unless you understand that they fit on here and the different shapes fit in the different spots. We're getting somewhere. This next toy, unless you understand how a drill works, this toy is just a bucket of things that rattle. And finally, if you have this toy, but you don't have the dustpan, Again, to use your imagination, please help me. Then this, you can't really use this for its intended purpose. Oliver, what are you getting at? I'm getting at the fact that when people scroll on social media, they're not thinking about how things piece together. But I need people to be able to piece things together. When you see someone who makes a video about a new laptop that's just come out, you can you could probably guess that they just make tech content. If someone's doing a review of a new pair of football boots, you could probably guess they just do football content. So you have an idea of what to expect. But with my videos, you don't really know what to expect. And that's been intentional, right? Because I'm not that, the, the, my niche is making entertaining videos, doing things that I want to do. But how does someone catch on to that? Let me put this stuff away. This house was perfectly tidy yesterday afternoon. It's an absolute shh tip now. If you see someone's house that has kids, good girl, dude. and the house is clean, it's either because they clean nonstop, the kids aren't crazy, or they have cleaners. Because it is impossible to keep the house continuously clean. It might be physically possible, but mentally, it's not possible. So I had some thoughts over the weekend in the like 20 minutes of free time. Because I, I don't work at weekends, right? Like we dedicate, I dedicate that time to wife, family, kids, etc. And I started to think, I need to have something at the beginning of my videos so people know what they're about to get into. So they can follow along on a journey, is my thinking. So what did I come up with? Right, I'm getting to where I'm going. So if we think about my videos <clears throat> and how they can fit into the typical niche categories. Get scrub, scrub, scrub. Oh, 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 work those abs, Oliver. Core strength. So the drinking a gallon of water, let's say that goes into skincare. Then I want to do a series of like teeth brushing stuff, like with the AI toothbrush, the natural toothbrush, trying teeth whitening. I think those are videos that would do well, and I want to try them too. So let's say the dental category. Fitness. Facial hair. Three colors, Oliver. Beautiful. <laughs> So we'll call this writing a hook. Love that space there, that's really good. Okay, so when you start a video, does the viewer feel an emotion? So if they don't feel an emotion, it means bro's bored. But if they do feel an emotion, the next question is, is the video idea interesting? If the answer is no, bro's bored. If it's yes. So if it's yes and they're enjoying the video, I don't even know if this, I don't think this is even in focus. It's in focus enough for you to see. I just, I literally do not know how to do manual focus on the Sony ZV-1, it is not easy. So if you get to here, they're enjoying the video and it's likely that they'll watch to the end of the video with a lot of other factors involved. But then you have a question to ask. Is there a pattern? 
which they only get to there if they've said yes. If there's no pattern, then there's really no reason to watch. It was just a one-off video and then they can scroll to the next and not really think twice about it. But if there is a pattern, then they realize that person's either in a niche, and if they like that niche, they may follow. If it's a topic or a series that they're interested in, they're likely to follow and see what happens in this series. And I think, if you can get them to feel emotion, if you can get them to enjoy the idea, then you have someone watching the video. Now, your job is to get them to buy into you and what you're trying to do. Which is ultimately the challenge I've had, but I think I've come up with a formula for a hook that will solve this. Just casually using a gro GoPro, a Gropo. Huh. It's not very easy to see, is it? I felt emotion, video idea, reason. So I is, you know the video is about me. Felt and the emotion makes the viewer want to buy into the I, the person doing it. What do I want to see that person overcome? Because we love knowing about other people's emotions. I'm not really sure why. And then you have the video idea has to be something interesting for make people want to stay to make this emotion worthwhile. Why do I want to see this person get over this emotion? And the reason is this goal. What is the person trying to accomplish over the course of this video? Knowing that this reason is gonna be accomplished, uh, can only be accomplished over more than just one video. And that reason becomes the niche. That's my hope, because here's then what I got. A skincare video can be any topic, can be dipping my hands in hot wax, and can be wearing a glove of lotion for 24 hours. But the goal is to save my dry, cracking skin. Now, people aren't watching this video just to see what happens when they put their hand in lotion for 24 hours. They wanna see this goal become achieved. They wanna see that get reached and watch the person overcome their emotion. Now the shuttle for reaching this goal while watching the person overcome their emotion is the video idea. No one cares about the emotion without the video idea. And no one cares about reaching the goal if there isn't a fun journey to get there. Or an interesting journey, one of those. Now I'll give you examples of what I think is like a bad hook and what I think is an amazing hook using this. What happens if I drink a gallon of water for five days? I mean, yeah, it's kind of intriguing because the gallon of water a day for five days, it's kind of an intriguing concept because the video idea is intriguing. Now here is what I think is a really good hook. I felt horrific drinking five gallons of water to save my dry cracking skin. Now the thing is, I think this is all, it's so subtle, but I think it's all subconscious. But you have the emotion that I'm feeling, you're like, oh, I've tried to drink a ton of water before and I know how horrific it feels, so I can't imagine drinking five gallons of water. And you're also like, five gallons of water, that's so much water, which you then quickly learn is over the course of five days. So this technically isn't a lie. It's just a shortened version. Because this, the video that you're about to watch is gonna be about drinking those five gallons. Like it's gonna be the review video, the recap. And then you finish it off with, to save my dry cracking skin. It's winter, everybody has dry cracking skin. And also, this is the goal that this person wants to achieve. It's not whether or not they can drink five gallons of water. It's can they save their dry cracking skin. So here's what I was getting at. This is the same hook I will use for every video to do with dry skin or skincare. And so let's say we're doing a video of dipping my hands in hot wax. You have a different emotion, you have a different video idea, but you have the same goal. And this is like my version, the way I'm thinking about it is like telling someone I'm making skincare videos. I'm making tech review videos. Now you're probably like, well, what happens if you now wanna do a soccer video? Good question. And this is where I'm at the beginning of this, but we can get there. I was so embarrassed learning the Mares walk so my kids don't think I sucked at soccer. Work in progress, okay? But for every soccer video, this goal will stay the same. And I don't think that's an achievable goal, so it has to be a different one. But you see where I'm getting at. 
this goal needs to be triggering enough for someone to want to see if the person accomplishes it, but also broad enough that it can be the same goal for every soccer video so that every time someone sees a soccer video by me, I lost my train of thought on that, but I want every time someone sees a soccer video from me or with my face in it, they know that it has this same goal. What? It's hot as balls in here. Whenever someone sees a video and they hear this, they know what to expect in the video. And I think that's what my problem has been. People don't know what to expect in one of my videos. Now, when I do get a series going that does well, the rest of the videos normally do well because I'll use the same hook for each of the videos. It'll just be it's day one, it's day two, it's day three. And because people are hearing the same thing, they know what to expect. So if I can get people, I tell you what, this is a two step process. Step one is to get the hook into a template. So every video starts with the same thing. And then every video has to start with the same visual. I'm just not sure what that is yet. And it's really tough because what works is, is, either, is either setting up triggering shots or using shots from the video as like a prelude as to what they should expect which of course then every video is gonna be different. So a bit of research to be done there. Right, your sausage. Just spent the last two hours scripting day five and editing it. I think I just finished it. I remember I was meant to go, hello Duda. I was meant to shoot, I mixed up the intro that I shot for day five, I used in the video for day four, and then I haven't had time to shoot one for day five, so I used some pretty cool clips for day five. Just finished it, just put it out. Also, I used the new hook template that I talked about today. So we'll see how it does. Okay, magic transition to death.